Hi, all of my happy scribblers and welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to make a card for a very special friend of mine. So I have two thick watercolor papers here, my watercolor brush pens, my laminated paper, and I am all ready to get started. So the first step is to sketch out some florals, some roses and leaves and some flowers and then choosing our colors to watercolor paint them in. These are the colors that I've chosen and I'm just going to start out going very light with all the lighter colors and then working up to the darker colors as I go. So the first color that I'm going to do is a very soft yellowish tone because I'm going to be doing these three roses. I want there to be that very, very light undertone and it won't be super noticeable on the end but just in little places here and there on the roses. And like I said, working from the softer to the darker colors, I am adding in some watered down tones into the center of the roses and then into the petals and trying to leave the edges of the petals lighter and softer colors because I want the darker tones to be towards the inside of the petals. And off to the side, just a little bunch of tiny little blue flowers. So now I'm preparing to do our wet on wet technique by coloring onto my laminated paper and wetting the paper with plain water before adding in the pigment. This is going to be the inside of the greeting card and so I don't want to fill the entire thing up with the florals because I want to leave room for my note. And that is why I am just using the wet on wet technique to kind of give the whole face of the paper overall some color because I don't want it to be a plain white color because the person that this is for really likes some bright, uh, cheery, girly colors. You can see here on some of those first leaves, the paper was still a little bit too wet and it bled out a lot, but that's okay. Moving on, uh, we are going to do step two of the card. So what we're doing here is just sketching out the body of a butterfly and then one side of the wings. And you will see that I fold it in half and then I cut it out and that way I get a perfectly symmetrical butterfly where both sides of the wings are the exact same size and shape. Okay, so with the shape of the butterfly cut out, now we choose our colors. These are the colors that I chose once again, bold and bright colors. And then all that we are going to do is sketch out the little, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> the designs, I guess, on the butterfly's wings. And I did my best to make a match on both sides once again.
and then what we do is we just erase because we don't want those pencil marks to stay on there too bold so I'm erasing this off but leaving it just enough so that I will be able to still see it and use the erased pencil lines as my guide for coloring the wings in. So I'm also going to color in the back of the butterfly because it will be slightly visible once we put it in our card. And then I am taking the background color of the wings and I'm going around all of those small little shapes um, in the design on the wings just to make it a tiny bit easier while I am filling it out to not accidentally go over any of those shapes. And then I'm going to go around all of the larger sections until the full background of each wing is filled out. And then just fill in the rest of the sections and color in the back of the wings. I actually really liked how the back turned out. <laughs> okay, so now what I wanted to do was just figure out the placement and also the size of my card. So I'm taking the paper that's already dried that we did earlier, folding it in half, and then I am placing the folded in half butterfly and checking the shape because I want to cut this card smaller, so I'm making it smaller and I know that the butterfly will fit well within um, the size of this card. So I thought that the best option for securing the butterfly was by sewing it in. I just didn't trust my stick glue for this job. So I got a needle and thread and I put in a couple of long stitches along the center of the butterfly and through the card. Now the wings are a little wonky here, so what I did was just added a little bit of tape to either side of the wings close to the body um, because I don't want to sew the tips down. I want them to be loose, but I did want each wing to stay on its side of the paper whenever you open up the card. And then I colored in that thread so that there isn't any white thread showing and the basic body of it is done now. So I have this paper from the dollar store, I think, at one point, and it was super bright, and so I thought it would be the perfect outer layer for the card. So I cut that out to size, and then I am going to be stick gluing it down and using plenty of the stick glue. I do not want this to be coming undone. So I will secure it on both sides, and that will be the whole body of the card complete and then we will just do the front decoration. Okay, so now we pick a little bit of washi tape uh, hopefully something that looks good with our decoration. <laughs> There's the washi tape rolling away as I cut it off. And then um, I'm just putting a little line that folds over the edges of the card to kind of reinforce those edges. And then on the front, just a strip to pull it all together and give it a little extra shine. Okay, so the moment has come to say who this card is for. It is for my wonderful friend, Gracie. Uh, she is just a wonderful person and I am so blessed to have her in my life. And so I wanted to make this special little card for her with things that she likes, like butterflies. So 
so this is the inside of the card and I have room there on both sides to write my little note to Gracie and I just wanted to add in one more little thing and that is a special ladybug in the colors uh, that we did our butterfly in. So I accidentally recorded the last clip on time lapse and so it's really fast so I have to talk really fast and I just want to say that I love you so much Gracie. I hope that you love this card. I hope everybody enjoyed watching this, that it inspired you. If it did inspire you, maybe sit down and make a special little card for somebody special in your life. Thank you, Gracie, for being my number one fan. Much love to all of you, and we will see you in the next video.